Good morning, Modern Steaders. I've been getting a lot of people asking lately, why do we do this? So I've been reflecting and thinking about that. You know, we put a lot of work into homesteading and YouTube, and it's not for the money. We could go and buy food a lot cheaper than we can raise it here. But that's not why we do it. We don't do it for the money. So we homestead to grow the best food possible for our family. If you read our bio, I grew up with anxiety, so I'm not going to go into that whole story. If you want to, in the description down below is it. And then if you go to our about page, there's a lot more about it than roosters. And our website has a lot more about my anxiety. So I grew up with anxiety. I always had it. I got it really bad, and I connected my anxiety with the food we eat it has a lot to do with not just the anxiety but how I feel mentally and physically and we go out to dinner every once in a while and if I get fried food or something really bad I wake up the next day and I feel miserable and I'm like what's going on and I go oh yeah I had fried food or I had XYZ and I can link it to that, which is nice, but it's kind of a pain sometimes too if you want to get a quick bite to eat. But where was I going? Oh, we're trying to grow the best food possible. And it doesn't happen overnight. You got to build up all your systems and build up your soil fertility to get the best food. But you have to start sometime and somewhere. And that's where we are right now. We're in the middle of our journey hopefully just the beginning of our journey with building everything. We're building our soil, we're building our skills, whether it's raising our animals, harvesting our animals. We got the outdoor kitchen we're building to help us build to preserve all this wonderful food we're growing. We're gonna be building a root cellar, we're we'll building a smoker, and I wanna build a walk-in cooler. I got plans for that coming up. I think in the plans I have in my head, they should be very energy efficient. And we're only gonna use it when we need it. I don't think it's going to cost that much money, but it should be a huge changer for us. So that's why we're living this lifestyle, is so we can get the best food we can for our family and live the healthiest and more connected to the land. The more we got into doing this, the more we realized how interconnected everything is. And it's just mind boggling. I mean, your animals, you feed your animals, your animals feed you. You take your gardens to grow your food. But when you have abundance of food that can grow the animals and then you can compost it the leftovers you can compost your food you can feed it to the animals you get manure compost that manure you put it on your soil it builds soil when you process your animals a lot of the leftovers you can compost that in return to feed your soil the blood is very good for your soil i mean it goes on and on and on i could probably do a year's worth of videos just on that topic but I won't today. I got into making videos to document our process of building our homestead. I'm not very good with taking pictures. I'm better with leaving the camera running. Even yesterday when I tell myself, I want to take pictures of this. When I was harvesting the birds yesterday, I didn't take my phone out once. I can get so focused on what I'm doing that I forget to stop, breathe, enjoy it, and take pictures. So with doing videos, I can remember that. Don't ask me why. But in the meantime, it's turned into more than that. I love learning, but I'm a terrible student when it comes to how people think about students nowadays. If you don't learn from reading a book, you're a bad student. And I could read a book and reread it and reread it, and I don't get anything out of it. But I learned there's more than one way to learn, and I love to learn. I just gotta learn the way I learn. In me, I'm a visual learner, and I learn from experience, by trial and error. That's one of the bigger reasons now that I make the videos. When I'm out there searching how to learn something, there's not a lot of information out there that I can find a good information. So when I find something, I wanna share it with you so you can learn too. I'm not saying what I'm doing is always right, but maybe from watching me, you can learn something or you can learn, <laughs> he screwed up. And I don't wanna do that way. I've learned plenty of times from other people's mistakes. And I learned a lot from my mistakes. So that's why we share them with you, whether it's good or bad, right or wrong. I know if I built an outdoor kitchen again, 
there's a bunch of different things I would do different. If I built another house, there's quite a few things I'd do different. But I built my house, and I can say I built it, and if I didn't build the things, and if I was always worried about messing up, I wouldn't be learning. We had hand-hewn farm here, teaching us how to harvest our pigs. We did, we did an awesome job, and we learned a ton. And when we go to do it again, we're gonna learn even more. It's just a continuous cycle. And that's one thing I love about the homesteading lifestyle. You can learn constantly, and there's a community behind it that wants to learn. We've lost a lot. There's been a big generational gap. My parents, your parents, maybe your grandparents, or your generation, I don't know how old you are that's watching the channel, dropped the ball. Not a bad thing. They didn't want to do it because it was drudgery. And I can understand that. That's why I like modern homesteading. There's a lot of modern conveniences I enjoy. The tractor's one of them. I mean, without my tractor, there's a lot of work I'd have to do by hand. A lot of heavy lifting. Our wood stove we have in the house, it weighs over a ton. The tractor got it in the house. It wasn't pretty, but it got it in the house. I wouldn't want to do that by hand. We put in a couple of driveways with this. We leveled off where the outdoor kitchen goes with our little tractor. We get it done. I wouldn't want to do that by shovel. We got the chain hoist for raising the pigs. We got the hot water boilers. We can get a lot more stuff done faster and easier. We know how to compost more efficiently. We can make a composted outhouse that doesn't stink instead of just digging a hole and pooping in a hole. There's so much conveniences we have nowadays that we take for granted. I mean, we've got KitchenAids, we've got meat grinders. What else do we got? I mean, I got electric poultry netting. I got cattle panels. I got firewood delivered to the house. If I don't have firewood delivered to the house, I could have a gas powered splitter. There's a ton of stuff in modern homesteading. There's a lot of stuff that we get to enjoy that our grandparents and our great grandparents didn't have. And I'm gonna take advantage of all those appliances and luxuries while they're here. If the grid goes down and that's what you're worried about, you wanna learn how to do all this and do all that when the grid goes down, this probably isn't the channel for you. And I don't mean that in a bad way. If the grid goes down, we're all gonna have some things we're gonna have to learn. But for now, I'm gonna take advantage of the modern conveniences I have and enjoy the process and enjoy sharing them with others. And that's what the channel's all about. It's about teaching others and growing with others to learn and to pass on knowledge. We're called to be good stewards and with homesteading, we can do that. We can be great stewards of this land we inherited with homesteading. We can leave a good planet behind for our children, but I don't wanna just leave a good planet behind for my daughter. I wanna raise a better steward for the planet. I want her to steward the land. My hopes with the channel is we can also use this so we're not just raising our daughter to be a good steward. I'm hoping that others can use this and learn to become good stewards and we can just snowball the effect of leaving behind a better planet for our kids, our kids' kids, better food for all of us. I don't want to think about if we stay on the track we're on right now, don't even go into like the whole snowball effect of the world. But the food quality, if we keep going the way we're going, what are our kids going to be eating? What are our grandkids going to be eating? Or our great, great, great grandkids? They're going to be eating something from a science lab that was grown in a beaker. And we need a live food that we get from the soil to feed us. That's a whole nother subject for a whole nother time. But I hope you enjoyed today's video hope it makes a little bit of sense of why we do what we do here and I'd love to hear why you homestead or why you want a homestead or why you watch the channel so leave it in the comments down below thanks for liking commenting and subscribing and we'll see you tomorrow at Lumna Acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom bye good morning modern steaders first off how do you like my new glasses had them for a while yesterday doing the harvesting. It was cold outside and going in and out of the house here and there. I kept putting my glasses on top of my head because they would fog up when I go inside. They fell off at one point and I stepped on them. I know. They're not broken, but the lenses are scratched right in front of my eyeball. 
So I had to switch out to my backup pair of glasses. Do you like them or not?